Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States 2024. The USA is the land of the free and the home of the brave. But in some parts of the country, it also has some issues with violent crime. Using figures from the FBI, we have measured and ranked our dangerous cities according to the number of serious felonies recorded per 100,000 people in one year. Violent crime includes murder, manslaughter, assault, and robbery. The data from the last few years suggests that, on average, violent crime in the USA is falling. New technologies are being used to help make urban areas safer, with real-time crime maps and gun detection software. But for now, here are the most dangerous cities in the USA. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 most dangerous cities in the United States 2024. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States 2024. Number 10. Indianapolis, Indiana. Perhaps best known as the home of the Indy 500 motor race in the USA, Indianapolis also has many museums and impressive green spaces. Unfortunately it also currently suffers from a high rate of violent crime, with 1,333.96 violent crimes per 100,000 people being recorded in 2019. Steps are being taken to decrease the number of violent crimes taking place. Initiatives like the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force, which targets the flow of firearms into the city, have seen violent crime rates start to decrease over recent years. Number 9. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque is the most populous city in the state of New Mexico. It was founded as a Spanish colony in 1706 and became part of the United States in the mid-19th century. It is a city full of culture and history, as well as being one of the greenest cities in the country. Unfortunately, the violent crime rate of 1,369.14 felonies per 100,000 people means that Albuquerque makes it to number 9 on our list. The numbers continued to increase between 2019 and 2023, with the homicide rate rising nearly 19%. To fight this high crime rate, more money has been made available to local law enforcement who have invested in technology. Video surveillance with live mapping and apps that use acoustic gunshot recognition technology are all helping to pinpoint crimes as they happen and help the police reduce crime. Number 8. Stockton, California. The port city of Stockton is perhaps one of the least well-known cities on our list. It has a relatively small population of around 320,000, but 1,414.56 violent crimes per 100,000 people puts it at number 8 on our list of dangerous cities. The city went bankrupt in 2012, mainly due to the 2008 world financial crisis seeing a massive drop in property value and high unemployment rates. This in turn has led to rising crime rates in the area. In recent years, initiatives such as extra tax to fund policing and anti-gang programs have been implemented to help reduce felonies and make the streets safer. Number 7. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland sits on the shore of Lake Erie, in northeastern Ohio. It is a major port on the St. Lawrence Seaway, relying on heavy industry and trade for economic prosperity. In recent years it has become more well-known for its improving healthcare and is home to one of the best hospitals in the world. Its rate of violent crime is 1,556.76 per 100,000 people, putting it above the national average in the USA. Recorded offenses had been dropping over recent years, but saw a big jump in crime rates in 2020 and 2021. This was attributed to increasing poverty rates and the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on the local police force. Number 6. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee is home to over half a million people and is one of the most ethnically diverse cities in the USA. It is also famous for its beer and cheese, mainly through many skilled brewing experts from Germany settling there in the mid-19th century. However, sustained population decline in the city, not helped by a violent crime rate of 1,597.36 per 100,000 people, has seen Milwaukee become a less-than-ideal place to live. It is hoped that new investment in building developments across the city will draw people back and make this place a desirable area to live once again. Number 5. Kansas City, Missouri. As well as being famous as the home of Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, Kansas City is best known for its barbecue and jazz music. Unfortunately, it is also gaining attention for its rising crime rate, 
with 1,724.31 violent felonies per 100,000 people in 2019. Most crimes in the city are on the rise, with the homicide rate particularly worrying. To combat this, the Kansas City Police Department is working with other community organizations to help implement a citywide strategy to reduce crime and help people out of poverty, as well as address various mental health issues that could lead to violence. Number 4. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis is regarded as the home of blues music and rock and roll, with Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash recording albums at the famous Sun Studios in the 1950s. It also has a reputation as one of the most violent cities in America, with nearly 400 homicides recorded in 2023. This is a rate of 63 homicides per 100,000 residents. Levels of poverty are high in Memphis, and police funding has been cut leading to rates of violent crime that are well above the national average. However, it is hoped that new federal funding and a program known as the Violent Crime Initiative will help to turn this city around and make it a safer place to live. Number 3. Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore is an important port city in Maryland in the state's economic center, thanks to a thriving port on the Patapsco River estuary, a major hub for importing and exporting cars and coal. For some of us at least, Baltimore is perhaps most famous for being the setting for the American crime drama series The Wire. With 2,027.01 violent crimes per 100,000 people recorded in one year, the reality of life in this city is not a million miles away from the television version for some. New strategies implemented by the mayor in 2021, such as treating violent crime like a public health issue, have seen crime drop dramatically, meaning the future looks more positive for the city's residents. Number 2. Detroit, Michigan. Detroit was once a thriving industrial town, famous for its automotive output, historical architecture, and Motown records. But when the U.S. car manufacturers started to lose out to competition from imports in the 1970s and 1980s the industry slumped, with Detroit being the hardest hit. The city's population fell by a staggering 63 percent between 1950 and 2015. As a result of mass redundancies and increasing poverty, Violent crime reached a rate of 2056.67 violent felonies per 100,000 people by 2019. However, the city has started to recover, with increasing wages, lower levels of poverty and falling crime rates. This comes as Detroit gains a reputation for a strong financial sector and increasing levels of employment and tourism. Number 1. St. Louis, Missouri. The most dangerous city in the USA is St. Louis, with 2082.29 violent crimes per 100,000 people recorded in 2019. High levels of poverty and racial segregation are thought to be contributing factors. Homicide rates remain elevated, with 194 instances recorded in 2019 alone. Things were even worse in 2020, with the rate hitting a 50-year high. St. Louis itself is a diverse city, situated on the banks of the Mississippi River. It has a strong association with blues music as well as sporting heritage and world-famous cuisine. More recent figures suggest that violent crime seems to be decreasing from the recent peaks, with the local police department using new camera technologies such as flock cameras to bring rates down. These cameras can detect license plates of cars that are of interest to law enforcement and alert the police instantly. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, Click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your thoughts on the dangerous cities among the top 10 most dangerous cities in the United States 2024 in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.